In this video, I want to show how to read the Center for New Testament Textual Studies Apparatus, or the CNTTS. First open the CNTTS and navigate to 1 John 1.4. The first column lists the chapter and verse, followed by a dash and then a number. Here we see chapter 1 verse 4 followed by the number 0. This indicates a new verse. Next to the number we find the letter L. This appears at the beginning of each verse and shows all the sources that are extant, partially extant, or that are not extant at all for this verse or passage. That means that the sources contain 1 John as a whole, but they may not contain this verse or it may only have um, some of the words in this verse. Next to the L, we find a zero. This indicates the base text, which is the UBS 4th edition, and all the variants are compared against that text. After that, in the far right column, we have a list of all the sources that contain 1 John 1, 4. So along with the UBS edition, all of these have verse 4 in it. Underneath that, we see the number 98. This code means that a, the following sources contain part of the verse. Some of the verse is damaged or missing. So we notice that there are brackets around the letter row. Uh, that letter's missing. So the, there's a hole in the manuscript at this point or something like that. Notice also that there are numbers that indicate uh, that words are repeated in the text uh, multiple times. If we look to the right of the text, we see that this reading is from the 5th century manuscript. Underneath that, we again find the code 98, which means that this verse is damaged in the following source. Here we notice that the brackets around the word, it's about a word and a half. Uh, this reading comes from a 9th century manuscript. Looking underneath that section, we find the number 99, which tells us that there is an omission of the text for some reason. To the right of that, we find the word lacuna, which means that there's a gap in the text. Something's missing. Uh, what's missing? Well, verse 4 is missing. If we look to the right of that, we'll see the sources. If we open up our library to the text of the New Testament, uh, the earliest New Testament manuscripts, we'll notice that P9 has 1 John, but it only contains chapter 4. Uh, and even that chapter is really fragmented. We close that and go back to the CNTTS. Um, we come to the end of the first section. We're now entering a new section, and the way we notice this is because the chapter and verse are still there, but it's followed by the number 1.0. Uh, this indicates that there's a new variant section. So we start to look at the individual variants at this point. The first section was kind of an overview, telling us you know, which sources contained the verse, which ones had words missing, and which ones completely omitted the verse altogether. After the chapter and number, we come across 1.0. Next to that, we have the letter I, which indicates that the editors don't think that this variant is significant. Following that, we have uh, the number 0, which represents the base text again, and the Greek is graphomen. Again, to the right, we see the sources that have graphomen. Um, under that, we find the number 1, which tells us that the variant is represented in the base text, but has some kind of a minor variant, either because of spelling or something like that. Following the number 1, we have the letter O, which indicates that this variant has to do with orthography. Uh, it's probably due to the confusion of vowels or spelling. To the right uh, of the Greek word, we have the sources that contain this reading, and here we only have one. If we move down, we now come to a different variant indicated by the number 3.0. Next to that, we have the letter S, which tells us that the editors think that this is a significant variant. Again, to the right, we have the number 0 telling us uh, what the base text is. To the right of that, the Greek word hemes. And again, to the right of that, the sources that contain uh, that reading. Underneath that, we come across the letter R which tells us that this is a replacement. That is, the reading differs from the base text. We look at the right uh, of the letter and we see the number 2, which tells us that this is a significant change from the base text. And there's more than one manuscript or source that contains this. It has to be two or more. And when we look, we find that it's the word humin. Again, to the right of that, we have uh, those sources that contain the variant. Underneath that, we've got the 
uh, number 99, which tells us that the variant is missing in P9 and P74, and we've already come across that information before. Under that, we come across a new subsection. This is not a completely new variant. This is a subvariant. And how do we know? Because we have the chapter and verse again, but next to it we have 3.2. So the number after the decimal indicates a subsection. Looking at the information contained in this section, it's considered insignificant. Uh, the base text gives us hey mace. And again, we have the sources that list that word. But under that, we have the number one. This tells us that the reading is represented in the base text with only minor changes. And we find out that it's humace instead of hemace. Uh, the O to the right tells us that there's an issue of orthography. Uh, we can notice uh, that this source is also noted above. But there it was in parentheses, and that tells us that the manuscript has the same basic reading with a slight variation, and here we find out what that actual variation is. Under that, we have the number 80, which simply tells us that this is a subsection of information that was already mentioned in the main variant section. Finally, another number 80, which tells us that we have already been introduced to this information in the main section, but we find out that this is another source that was cited above but put in parentheses. 1874 was listed in the main variant section, but here we find out that uh, the slight variation is uh, who mean instead of hey mean. I uh, hope this video has been helpful to you.